now I feel sleepy because I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I try. Let me start. India, India, India. That is what this election is about. Do we participate in a politics of cynicism, or do we participate in a politics of hope? John Kelly calls on us to hope. John Edwards calls on us to hope. I'm not talking about blind optimism here. The almost willful ignorance that thinks unemployment will go away if we don't if we don't think about it, or healthcare crisis will solve itself if we just ignore it. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about something more substantial. It's the hope of slaves sitting around the fire singing freedom songs, the hope of immigrants sitting out for distant shores, the hope of a young naval lieutenant bravely patrolling the Mekong Delta, the hope of a new worker's son who dares to defy the odds, the hope of a skinny kid with a funny name who believes that America has a place for him too. Hope. Hope in the face of difficulty. Hope in the face of uncertainty. The audacity of hope. In the end, that is God's greatest gift to us, the bedrock of this nation. I believe in things not seen. I believe that there are days ahead. I believe we can give a middle class levy and provide working families with a low to opportunity. I believe we can provide jobs to the jobless, homes to the homeless, and reclaim young people in cities across America from violence and despair. I believe that we have a righteous wind at our backs and that as we stand on the crossroad of history, we can make the right choices and meet the challenges that face us. America, tonight, if you feel the same energy that I do, if you feel the same urgency that I do, if you feel the same passion that I do, if you feel the same hopefulness that I do, if we do what we must do, then I have no doubt that all across the country, from Florida to Oregon, from Washington to Maine, the people in rise up in November, and John Kelly will be sworn in as president, and John Edwards will be sworn in as vice president, and this country will reclaim its promise. And out of this long political darkness, a brighter day will come. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. God bless you. Thank you. Maybe our president felt